Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Van Build Adventure. <laughs> I'm just trying to make this one more exciting because it's, it's probably a little bit dull. Uh, this is finishing off the wall insulation, which is nearly finishing off all of the insulation that I needed to do in a standard van, van buildy way, you know, where you like insulate all of the metal things so that you don't lose or gain heat at a rate of 10 degrees per second. But before I started with that, I took a bit of time just tidying up the cables that were going to run behind the control panel in the same manner as I did for the power station in the last episode using the 3M adhesive cable tie eyelet and some duct tape again but that's already what was there so I wanted to kind of neaten it up, bunch things together, kind of just get it all a bit neater and under control before I started locking it into place by insulating around the other bits of conduit. That was all pretty straightforward and um, I mean so was doing the Kingspan insulation really. Uh, I've already done quite a fair bit of it at this point so for more detail uh, I would recommend going back to previous episodes that cover walls and ceiling insulations. It, it's kind of fun to do it though, uh, kind of wedging these blocks in place and then shoving the spray foam in to wedge it all together. It's kind of like a weird jigsaw puzzle but for adults. I mean wait adults do jigsaw puzzles. They probably do more jigsaw puzzles than kids, don't they? Yeah, I mean, more power to you if you like jigsaw puzzles. If you like jigsaw puzzles, you'll love doing round insulation. Let's put it that way. It's quite fun, if a little bit messy, but you know, what? What's, what's life without a little bit of risk? Again, wearing gloves is a great idea. Wearing clothes that you don't like is a great idea. I usually failed to do either of these things and I paid the price. I was a little bit more liberal with the spray from here than I've been in previous places because I kind of like got to grips with how much it expands and how to work it and so I filled a bit more of the gaps. I also felt like I had enough left to justify this although I did end up buying some more at a later point. It's pretty damn useful stuff. I quite like it now. I think we should spray foam all the things. It's great. I then move on to the bulkhead which is similar but a little bit more complicated. Uh, I had to be conscious of the fact that I didn't have as much space sort of coming out of the wall for the insulation to occupy because the cladding needs to be able to go on top. So I used like a mixture of 50 millimeter and 25 millimeter Kingspan. The plan for the bulkhead was to kind of do it in two halves uh, to maximize the room space and like space for the desk and my legs under the desk. So the bottom bit I was able to use more of the 50 millimeter insulation because it had quite a lot of overhang to where the top support was compared to the bottom or well, like the bottom's kind of just going on the floor but then the higher bits required 25 millimeter because there wasn't much space it did actually fit quite perfectly though I mean that was partially deliberate but I was still quite happy with how well it fit the corners were a little bit awkward because it's kind of like this cavernous space and I wasn't really going to be able to fill it properly so I just kind of tried to get some big bits in there and stick them together and then jam some small bits here and there but I didn't try and fill it completely as it just didn't feel realistic to do that and you know it, it's not going to make a massive world of difference we're insulating to the cab here which is good because the cab will definitely get much hotter and colder because of the windows but you're never going to get a perfect seal between the cab and the back so you know you, you don't want to over engineer it too much it's not really worth the time and with that the insulation boarding is basically done and this video is going to be extremely short maybe it doesn't even deserve to be a video of its own <laughs> yeah I, I haven't quite finished it though there is a i left the bottom section open because I hadn't figured out what I was going to do with the cables that were going to the starter battery or the D plus issue just yet so I left I let that be for a little bit I basically waited until I'd sorted all that and was coming to clad it there's also a bit of a question of like how it was even going to fit because it's kind of like going against the floor and I th think what I ended up doing was just sticking chunks <laughs> chunks <laughs> sticking 
cut off pieces behind the cladding once I'd actually put the cladding in place just to make sure they didn't go anywhere because there wasn't really any way to properly spray foam it into place like fully like I have for everything else because there's only a support on one side so yeah and I'll leave you with a clip of the downsides of spray foam and what happens when it gets all over your skins and your hairy arms oh it's quite painful well if this has been helpful or enjoyable in any way it would be much appreciated if you would like the video maybe subscribe to the channel maybe leave me a comment hate comments are welcomed it's all good for engagement and uh, yeah i'll catch you in the next one see you later taters Just wanna do really colors.